morning everybody it is uh, March 12th 13th 13th I think anyway <laughs> uh, it's Sunday morning uh, it's about 8 30 and 24 degrees out and it snowed last night um, not a ton of snow but a little bit uh, heading over to rain them because really nothing else is open yet um, flying solo today and then I might go meet up with Mike uh, for a little bit so see if we see anything uh, if not you know it is what it is but make sure you guys check out the other videos that I've had out uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already smash that like button and I'll see you guys soon later what are you getting on like the games and stuff you know me. I'll grab a pile. Yeah. We'll work it out. Always. Uh, <laughs> what about the uh, GameCube? On the GameCube, I can do 70. 70? Yeah, yeah. What about the uh, 64? 50. 50? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Well, like I said, you know me, I'll, I'll probably grab a pile of stuff and then we'll go from there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Hey guys, what's going on? Just want to show you my pickups from the last couple weeks. Uh, most of this actually came last Sunday, which was awesome. Got a really nice score, which was, I uh, felt like it was a while in the making. It's just been a while since I've had hit, but <clears throat> that's what happens during the off season here in good old Massachusetts. So I'll show you kind of from this way to this way, because I'll save all the good stuff for last. Um, so I did a trade online uh, with a subscriber, Marty. Uh, thank you very much for the trade. Um, so I got uh, Donkey Kong 64, Yoshi Story, Donkey Kong Country, Battletoads, Mega Man 3. Uh, the Tekken Hybrid Limited Edition is factory sealed, which is really cool. Uh, Super Mario Super Circuit, it's just missing the, um, the insert that holds the game in place. Otherwise, it's complete, which is really cool. So that's some stock that I'll have um, some of it for the upcoming toy shows and whatnot. Excuse me. Uh, so make sure you guys check that stuff out. I'll be doing soon. Um, kind of moving on from stuff that I've actually picked up on the wild. This was a cool find. Uh, I got this from Mr. 80s in the random flea market. Uh, Matt, uh, as you guys know, a couple uh, earlier this year I picked up... Uh, Jesus, why can't I think of it all of a sudden? Chrono Trigger. <laughs> uh, pretty much complete in the box. It was missing just this poster. Weirdly enough, Matt had one for sale at his booth. Uh, he gave me a real good deal on it, so now mine is 100% complete. It's not missing anything. So that's wicked awesome. Um, I'm going to put this in the box, and then that's going to go to Retro World Expo in August. Um, since it's such a heavy hitter game, um, being 100% complete, I want to make sure that you know it's going to be where people want to drop that kind of money for it. Uh, moving on. So 
this is kind of a cool, weird pickup. Um, I got this guy for a buck at FYE. was randomly on the shelf. They've been doing a lot of clearance stuff. Um, it was kind of a random pickup. It's only like worth 10 to 15 bucks. Uh, but to have the, like a big box game just sitting on the shelf, it was opened, but everything's in there. So it was just cool find, and for a buck, why not? I'm not going to leave that behind. Uh, I got the same day, I got this. We stopped at GameStop on the way home. They were doing uh, buy two, get one free. Uh, I found a couple games I've been kind of hemming and hawing and waiting them for. So I got the Devil May Cry HD collection, which is awesome. It's Devil May Cry 1, 2, and 3. It's something I've wanted for a while, and obviously it dropped down $18.99, so I'll definitely take that. I was very happy on that pickup. This one I've been waiting to pick up for a while. I heard it's kind of like a poor man's Resident Evil. So it's definitely something I wanted to check out. And basically, um, I don't remember if this was the free game or the other one was, but for 16 bucks, yeah, I'm not going to go wrong. And then Jedi Fallen Order, I had played a while back and figured what the hell, I'll pick it up again. Super cheap. It was like 15 bucks, so I don't remember which one was free. It was either uh, that one or that one, but it doesn't really matter. Use GameStop credit that I still had uh, to get it, so... In the grand scheme of things, they were all free. And then I got all this cool stuff. But first, <laughs> on the way home from there, I stopped at Walmart. I uh, got Godfall on the PS5 for 10 bucks. Don't know a ton about it, but I figured a PS5, PS5 game for 10 bucks. I'll grab that. And then I grabbed uh, Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2 for 10 bucks. This is something that's going to be for Xander. For my son. Um, so, you know, he's starting to get into video game stuff. He loves Legos and superheroes, so it was kind of a no-brainer. For 10 bucks definitely now the fun stuff so um let me just change angle all right so this guy i've bought off from before at the random flea market was setting up video game stuff uh, i got there nice and early and the first thing i saw was this guy because obviously um big purple unit just sitting on the table you guys saw the video it was really cool basically i asked him how much he said ten dollars a game basically fifty dollars a system and I was like, just like last time, make a pile, we'll make a deal. He said, sure. So really nice guy. Um, hopefully he'll have more stuff. Uh, I gave him my card and stuff so he can hit me up uh, before he goes to the flea market. Uh, I think he said he does some clean out stuff and whatnot because he has a lot of like random stuff. He has a lot of video game stuff I bought off of him before, but definitely really cool. We'll go over thing real quick. Grabbed two Game Boy Colors because at Retro World I ran through everything that I had for systems. I'll probably hang on to those for Retro World. Maybe I'll take like one with me to shows and stuff. Uh, I got a GBA, which is nice. The top is scratched up, but that's very common with these. The screen is nice, if I can open it with one hand. There we go. Screen's not bad, just needs to be wiped down. Uh, I think it needs a new battery because... Uh, I try to charge it and it just flicks on and then flicks off. And every time that's happened to me, uh, I bought a battery and then they seem to work with no problem. So I got to order a battery and test this out because, like I said, the light just flicks on and then flicks off. So um, not a bad one for sure. The purple system was an awesome find. Um, I've never seen one really out in the wild like that. It's got a nice tight stick. Uh, it has the expansion pack. And that's going to be available for sale because I have the uh, the turquoise one that I got earlier this year from, uh, not this year, but last year, um, from a buddy of mine. And I debated on which one I was going to keep, but I'm going to keep the other one. I, I like it more. Um, so that one will probably end up being put aside for Retro World. Um, but I don't know. Who knows? Uh, got a nice GameCube controller. These are always nice to have. I think I needed some. The only thing I regret not picking up from him that I can recall is uh, Inbox GameCube. I looked at it real quick and then just kind of like forgot about it when I was making the deal. Um, I went back to get it and it was already gone. So he gave somebody a good deal on it because this guy gives great deals. So can't complain. Grabbed. This was one of the first games I saw. It was uh, Shimagasi Tensei. I always say it wrong. Nocturne. Um, but I mean... It's not an expensive game. I think it's like 20, 25 bucks, something like that. Uh, but still very nice to find. Um, and then I grabbed all of these, a couple of these. I think these two were actually in the Game Boys. So that's why there's two Marios. But either way, uh, definitely nice to find cartridge based stuff. Uh, I got the Zelda Ages is awesome. Dragon Warrior was a really nice find. That was one of the first ones I saw on the table. Kirby's Dreamland. Label's a little messed up at the top, but all these worked with no problems. 
Uh, Zelda Four Swords, uh, Road Rage, you know, not crazy expensive games, but definitely stuff people are looking for. This was kind of a random find. Um, one of the, uh, what is this? This is the Neo Geo Pocket. Uh, just random sitting on the table. No Neo Geo, no other Neo Geo games. Um, so I've never come across one in the wild, but if he had one, I would have bought it and kept it. Uh, so I'm going to hopefully he'll come across it because that would be a cool find. Uh, a couple more Zelda games. You can never go wrong with those. Ocarina of Time, uh, Player's Choice, uh, Mario Player's Choice. It's kind of sun faded, but it's fine. It works. Nobody, you know, people want to play this game. Um, this is probably the second or third copy I have of this currently in my possession, um, which is really nice because a lot of times these are broken, but this thing's super clean. Um, so very happy to have that. And then the thing that was awesome was digging through these huge piles of games that you guys saw. Unfortunately, I didn't get like every one of these being pulled out because I kind of need both hands. And uh, I've been using my phone lately because I just haven't charged up my GoPro. Terrible YouTuber, I know. Uh, but all these are awesome. Very nice shape. Complete. I think Animal Crossing is missing the manual. Um, something really cool about these. I kind of show. But they're all in really nice shape. Discs are in nice shape. This is something, I feel like you don't see these often. Not really expensive. I think it goes for like 15 or 20 bucks. Uh, Grant already said he wants it for his Zelda collection. So it's going to go to him. But uh, finding the ultimate co codes for the GameCube stuff was cool. Uh, Mario Kart is always a very popular title. Uh, Super Mario Sunshine is always nice. And they're all black label, which is awesome. Mario Golf Toadstool, Toadstool Tour. Nah. Uh, Animal Crossing is always nice. Uh, no memory card. I'm starting to think maybe the memory card was with the GameCube, so... Oh, well. Uh, and this one is missing the manual, but the ultimate codes. Basically, nowadays, anything GameCube I can find for 5 bucks or less, uh, minus most of the sports games I'm going to pick up. Uh, it's just... It's gotten to the point GameCube stuff is next to impossible to find, as a lot of this stuff is becoming really, really hard to find. Uh, but you got to get out there... It all right, guys, I'm splicing this in. One thing I forgot to show, uh, my Doom Collector's Edition came in from, uh, this is Limited Run. I ordered it almost a year ago, but they had issues, obviously, with everything shipping overseas, blah, blah, blah. Um, so really cool. I love Doom. I've been playing through Eternal. Uh, one of my favorite parts of this is it's got, I bought the one with the light-up box, and then let's see if, I don't know if you can hear it. Um, hang on, I'll take it out of the box. So first and foremost, this is what the interior smaller box looks like. I did it open it up and uh, check it out. So I think this is, yeah, it's a slip cover, which is really cool. Um, I debated on opening this or not because they are going for over $300 or were. Uh, but it's got the original like PC style cover, which is wicked awesome with like the stickers um, and all that stuff. So um, let me open this up real quick and show you the inside. All right, so you got the... Uh, game here you got a steel book that comes with it which is cool uh you have like a key card which is just kind of a thing and then a um doom slayer keychain and this was kind of cool um this is one of the three and three quarter well the not the three and three quarter but this is one of the floppy disks uh non-functional minus the fact that it is a flash drive so that's really cool um <laughs> if something like that um i probably won't ever use it as a flash drive but Definitely cool pieces for sure. Uh, very glad to have that in the collection. Glad I got this edition um, and waited for it. I was so happy to get this in. This this part is awesome. I got to figure out where I'm going to put it. Um, but it lights up, and then plays the theme song so really cool piece for sure if you guys ever get a chance to pick this up even if it's just this piece i would highly recommend it so but that's it guys uh, i just want to show you that now back to the rest it was like 20 degrees when i got to the flea market and luckily you know i i, I hit well very happy there uh, i just feel you know i haven't found anything in, in the uh thrift stores nothing really much online um i've been trying to move stuff on whatnot but you guys are sick and tired of hearing that. That's fine. That's not what we're here for right now. We're here to see the cool, awesome hunting finds from out in the wild. So as always, guys, I hope you like the finds. If you're interested in anything, let me know. Uh, hit me up on Instagram. All the links will be in the description. Um, the flea market's coming up soon. This coming weekend, um, I'm going to Raynham, and then I'm going to uh, 
Franklin Toy Show. The following weekend, which is the 27th, we're going down to New Jersey for um, uh, ToyCon New Jersey. It'll be always a fun time. Get some cool toys, video game stuff, whatever. Um, and then the week after that, we'll be going back to the flea markets because Seaconk opens on the 27th, but we're going down to Jersey, so we're going to go find some toys. Uh, so hopefully, we'll be finding more stuff more often, and you guys get to see some cool pickups. So as always, guys, I appreciate the support. Trying to hit 10,000 subs by the end of the year. I know it's a little slow going. It is what it is. Make sure you smash that like button. Comment down below what your favorite find was. And subscribe if you haven't, and I will catch you guys on the flip side. Later.